Hey guys, it's me, and welcome back to another video. So, um, today's video is going to be a hamster cage tour, and this week's shoutout goes to Random Alley. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to all of your requests in this video, but I will definitely save them for upcoming videos. So, we're going to do the hamster cage tour, and it's going to be very fun. Right, Marsh? Okay. So here is my hamster's cage, and um, I did make a video about my pet's Christmas themed enclosures, and I also showed Potato's cage in that video, but in this video I'm just going to go a bit deeper and like show you guys everything and what the brands are and stuff. So starting off with the cage itself, it is an IKEA detail. So, it's a cabinet, obviously, from Ikea, and when it's flipped on its side, it makes a perfect hamster cage. And has, like, something around 900 to 1,000 square inches of floor space, I forget. But, yeah. So, on the top, um, this is just a homemade lid that my dad made, because the original lid is, like, a very heavy glass door. And I'm scared of glass, and I'd probably break it, so it's just wood that I painted white, and then the slide-out mesh. Um, so right here, I just have a few plants, like my bamboo, bamboo plant, um, some aloe vera that's really not doing well. I have an iron golem, and some of my most valuable Pokemon cards in this frame. Um, if you care, it's Amolga, Shiny Dedenne, Full Art Pokemon Breeder, and Full Art Alistair. Um, then I have these two little cute rabbit statues. And a tiny little blue vase. And then back here, I have... It's pretty dark. But it's this, like, succulent-like plant. I forget what it's called. I think it has to do something with pearls. I don't know. But yeah, so these two little, like, spaces are basically like shelves. Um, right here I have another miniature vase and my earring stand, which is like the same kind of frame as my Pokemon cards because I made both of them. Um, this is just a picture of my cousin that's flipped around. And then a little mini uh, Alex. Um, I have this bottle that has, like feathers and decorative grass whatever you want to call it. it looks like caterpillars but yeah there's just this ginormous peacock feather sticking out of the middle of it so that's nice and then this little painting that i made um and then so it's sitting on my dresser which is pretty ugly so just don't mind that but um I chose the white detail, and you can get white or black. White just matches my room more. But I have this like Christmas garland with little berries hot glued to it all around the detail. And then I have um, a sticker with Potato's name on it and a picture of her. She's a Ravorsky dwarf. And then I have a reindeer and a snowflake since it's Christmas theme right now. Um, and then for the bedding, I have six inches here, or like used to be six inches, because she took it and moved it to this corner. There's usually not much bedding, like right here. Like where that little red thing starts, it's usually like very high, but she spread it out. Um, but this bedding is like just some white paper based bedding from Uber. I think I still have the package. Yeah, it's um, Uber or whatever you call it. I don't know how to say that. Um, and then there's just some hay mixed around. You might also see some seeds from her hoard. Um, that is just like a red barrier. It's also a platform, but I use it as a barrier, and it's quite slanted right now. So that came from a tiny Tills cage. 
because um, um, I used to have a tiny tail's cage because I was a bad human being. But I threw it out and took some of the supplies that you'll see in this cage. Or like um, toys, whatever you want to call it. Then there's like a pile of seeds and that's not from her because last night I tried to scatter feed her. But it just like spilled out into one spot. So that's why there's a clump of seeds there. And then this is also from the Tiny Tails. It's like uh, a rooftop hideout. Um, and then we have a dumbbell with a little ball inside of it. It's not really a dumbbell, but I don't know what else to call it. So yeah, everything is like red and green in here because it's Christmas themed. Then I have this bendable bridge with reindeer moss glued to it. And, uh, I don't know. I think the bendable bridge is from Living World. And the reindeer moss is just from, like, the dollar store. Um, then we have this big green wheel. I believe it's either an 8-inch or an 11-inch. I can't remember. I always get it mixed up. Um, and I forget the brand of that wheel. Then, back there, that green dish is from my Tiny Tails cage again. And this little red dish, which holds her water. I just found it in my Christmas decoration box. And it was very small, probably for a candle. But it looked perfect for a hamster, so I stole it. Um, and then her sand bath isn't really Christmassy. Uh, I don't know how to make a Christmassy, but it's just like a see-through baking pan with some reptile sand that's reddish. You can see it better, like over here. And then this platform that came with my past hamster monkey's um, cage. Then we have a little coconut right here. And the coconut just is there because she lives in there and I can't really move it, but that's okay because it still looks cute and yeah and Demarsh is right by my foot and I almost stepped on him and <laughs> that is my hamster cage for you oh also there are these little bells that I attached to this metal part and it's just in a pattern of like red and green and it's on the other side too but it's probably going to be hard to see because of the reflection so yeah, um, that was my hamster cage, and thank you again to Random Alley for requesting this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Oh wait, also, I made this new hideout for Marsh because he needed a hideout, and I'm probably gonna get him some more, but he just has one for now, and it's made out of a cardboard box with a blanket over it and it's just really cute it also has two openings on each side and he loves it so much um so yeah but yeah guys that is the actual end of this video and i hope to see you in the next one bye guys